Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. We know that a couple days ago there was a shooting that took place at the Greenwood Park Mall near Indianapolis, Indiana. There was a deranged, psychopath, 20 year old punk who went into the restroom, stayed there for a while, came out with an AR-15 near the food court and just started shooting at innocent people. Immediately, a 22 year old man named Elijah Dickin, his name has been released, it's out there, responded with a firearm of his own. And as soon as that psychopath saw that a second gun arrived, he started running away back toward the restroom, going to safety. Meanwhile, four people got killed and several others were injured because of this idiot. That's what they do. They're cowards. They run away. And that's exactly what he did. And then he was eventually killed. Dickin took care of business. And he did a great job. And a lot of people were calling him a hero. Law enforcement called him a hero. The, the mayor called him a hero. Many news outlets are calling him a good Samaritan. They're saying he saved countless lives and so many others who could have been injured for life thanks to Dickin ending the threat. And that's exactly what the left hates. They cannot stand that. It goes against their talking points. Their narrative is no guns, but yet when an armed citizen ends the threat, then... They have to find a way to spin it to make it seem as if it wasn't a success. You should not be celebrating this because that mall had a no guns policy. Who's actually the criminal here? They always go off to Twitter and, you know, get their tweets out there so that everybody can see and share them and change the narrative. The fact is, Dickon did a great job. Moms Demand Action, Shannon Watts, the founder, she went on there and said, this is not a good implementation of the Second Amendment. You know, he shouldn't have had a gun to begin with. What's the difference? That tweet was deleted, by the way. You know, if she's so proud of it, keep it up there. Hey, you deal with some of the other comments that come in. They call him a good Samaritan. A lot of tweets were out there. Other people saying, you know, a good Samaritan actually means this. If you've ever read the Bible, you would know that. Now all of a sudden the left are Bible scholars because they're changing the narrative to a good guy with a gun ended the threat to, you know, they're both, in their eyes, they're both criminals. They both entered with firearms. They shouldn't have done that. You know, this is this is dangerous all around. We want less guns, not more. They say, well, if guns were outlawed to begin with, then this psychopath wouldn't have done. You know what? Don't even go there with me. You, you, you people are so naive. You've never had a, a serious threat where you could have been seriously injured or even killed. You live plush lives. You never have to worry about money. You're not in an environment where the ordinary, normal people living their lives attend. You know, you 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 are an uh, expert on Twitter. That's where it ends. And, and it's actually kind of funny, but it's maddening it the same way. Now, I had a guy comment on the video I made yesterday. He said his wife was escorted out of that mall on three separate occasions because her gun was printing and somebody turned her into mall security. Okay. It wasn't open carry, but mall security said, man, if that's a firearm, you need to you need to leave. We're security. We have this. Now, I have been to the mall on occasion. I hate the mall. I can't stand the mall. I don't like being around all these people and everything, but every time I've seen mall security, they were unarmed. Perhaps they were deep carrying, but I seriously doubt it. They may do a good job when it comes to Somebody sticking something in their pocket and walking out the store. But when it comes to somebody who is willing to kill mass amounts of people, where were they? If they're experts on security, where was the mall cop? They were nowhere to be found. And so as they're escorting people out and they're claiming they have the authority, they don't have authority. If somebody comes in with a firearm and uses it illegally and you don't have a firearm, you have no authority. None. You know who had the authority? Dickin did because he ended the threat and he took care of business and saved lives more than any mall cop could have handled. And the left hates it. And I love it. And once again, it proves that the armed citizen in this country saves lives, prevents crimes, prevents deaths every day in this country. If you study this stuff, unlike these blowhard liberals who are out there tweeting every day, then you would see that this is a reality. And it was proven, it got national attention. Finally, 
a mass shooter was killed by an armed citizen. And I shouldn't say finally. It's happened before. But this one finally got the attention that it deserves. And they're calling Dickin a hero. They're calling him a good Samaritan. They're saying uh, a bunch of praises about him. And I think that's good. And the deranged killer, you know why he did what he did? Because he got an eviction notice. He got an eviction notice. He didn't pay his rent. 20 years old. Probably uh, play, oh, poor me, poor me. What a jerk. So here we have the left crying, saying it actually wasn't a good implementation of the Second Amendment. He actually broke the law, too. Perhaps he should get charged. And we have our side celebrating. I call it a victory. And the left, they're actually experts on nothing. Well, perhaps they are an expert on one thing, Twitter. And if that's all you got, good luck to you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.